Hello everyone, welcome to part 87 of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the card page and in last video we have seen that we able to store our products in card page with some information and uh, in this video we are going to uh, we are going to show the prices of the uh, our items as well product items that we have added with the help of session IDs okay uh, we don't have the user ID so far so we are taking the session ID uh, to to make the user card okay uh, so we are going to show some more uh, description as well so uh, what we are, can do here we can enlarge the description here and we can remove the text column is not required here text column is required in another video with uh, shipping okay so and also with that we are going to check uh, with the multiple quantity uh, then uh, we are going to show here the subtotal and and the final total as well okay so all this thing uh, we are going to do in this video okay so let's start and uh, first of all i'm going to enlarge this description and remove text column okay so that we can uh, show more details like product code as well so i can use here uh, thp code spent 2 with description and here also td code spent 2 and i can remove the text column that is not required here so we can also remove from here and here as well so now you can check here yeah now there is more space is there you can see uh, but uh, we can do here in some other manner like uh, color and size uh, we can do one thing uh, product code now we can add here in square brackets like this one okay so now uh, it looks better so product code we are also showing in brackets uh, because our description field is now long enough so that's why uh, we are now showing the product code easily okay so now uh, here it is fine and now we are going to show the quantity dynamically uh, just uh, make it correct see all these buttons uh, for updating the quantity uh, that we will also work on okay so here we are going to show the quantity we are getting the quantity here okay this is the quantity See, placeholder is not required here instead of it we are going to add the value dollar item like this now we are going to check see now the quantity is here so now is the price so price we are going to fetch from the attribute price we are going to fetch so uh, one function we are going to add in our card model oh, sorry for it uh, so we can take this one i can move and open once again So uh, one more function we are going to add here and that is uh, to get product attribute price okay function uh, get product attribute price and this function uh, we can also add in our cart uh, model public function uh, get product attribute price okay so we are going to calculate from the two things one is the product id 
and the another one is the size okay so uh, we can write like this attribute price we can get from the flux attribute is our model select price First, where and this one we can return. We can directly return the price itself like this. Okay, so. Uh, we are going to add this one in card plate file so uh, we are going to add include our uh, card model here okay so that uh, card model we need to include otherwise uh, we can't get that uh, so we are going to include here and card and here uh, we are going to call that function uh, whatever function name is we can use that one card and we need to uh, pass the product id and size okay so we can copy this one and in one we are going to pass the product id as well as item site okay so uh, we can simply give here the price like this and this attribute price uh, we can show uh, here check once that whether it is coming fine or not some error comes see the error comes here uh, so non static method we need to add uh, this one public static okay as we are using somewhere public static function now we can try so now it is coming you can check here see attributes prices are coming now 700 600 okay so this one is the attribute price and uh here uh, we can show the subtotal subtotal and here you can show the unit price okay so now it looks cool so uh now the quantity uh, is this one unit price and discount we are not calculating so far no category discount no product discount so far so uh, so we uh, also want to show the total price and for total price uh, we need to uh, fetch uh, in one variable okay so I'm going to pick one variable here dollar total amount uh, or total price okay so uh, we can pick the total price here total price equal to zero right now so uh, we can uh, simply add this price here before this one 
be total price equal to total price plus and here whatever price is coming into quantity okay so whatever quantity of the item that is coming here okay so uh, so where it is here it is dollar item quantity so this one uh, is our total price that we can show here and the same price we can show uh, here in grand total we can make it grand total okay we can show it like this grand total and this one uh, we can show this one here as well as here now you can check here see 2300 but the subtotal is uh, still uh, not there because uh, we need to add this one there as well okay now you can check here purple casual t-shirt with one quantity of 1000 rupees subtotal is 1000 and then 700 700 is there 600 600 is there then the total amount is 1000 plus 700 plus 600 and that is 2300 and that is correct okay so total discount is zero so far because we have not integrated discount uh, here in our card page so far we will integrate uh, the product discount as well as category discount that we have integrated in our admin panel but in front still it is pending and that we will do in our future videos okay so here but rest of the things seems to be fine now we are going to uh, add the product item with two I uh, two items we are going to add see this one feed these features also we are going to work on in next video plus uh, plus the quantity minus minus the quantity okay you can remove the item from here as well okay and voucher code functionality so still many things to uh, come in our uh, card uh, okay uh, so uh, so let's uh, update the card with two items uh, so what i can do i can uh, i can empty or i can add uh, the uh, product with two items so i can go uh, in any of the casual t-shirts or formal t-shirts is not there casual t-shirt mm, so i can add this one don't have any size so uh, same t-shirt i don't want to pick what okay it's no issue i can add one more site from our admin and i can add the site uh, for our red t-shirt one site i can add here i can add the small size as with uh, price okay no issue uh, so main price also i'm going to show the main price here uh, in our admin panel open this one add attributes split file uh, of of your admin panel and here i can directly show the main price of the product so that we have some idea that which price we have added product price here yeah, product price okay so now we can just check it check it see product price some issue is coming undefined index Oh, yeah, so no issue. We can open the plus controller. Okay, I mean, and here open add attributes. And now uh, we can check here plug data. Here, plug price is not here, so that's why it is not coming. We can add this one plug price. check once refresh and we are having the product price now now it will be easier to add the size small 
I can simply keep the same price 500 so always keep the same price okay like this one is the main price and that to show in listing pages but keep it uh, the smallest price you can show here as your main price because we are going to show uh, to the user to, to uh, so, so that they will come and purchase the product okay so always show your minimum price of the product so this one also we can add medium with this 600 price and 10 and attributes now we can able to add the red t-shirt as well uh, so refresh here yeah small one add to cart oh no so i want to add with two items okay uh, so so make it empty yeah empty make it empty okay so no issue you can make it empty and now i'm going to medium with two sizes two two quantity add to cart and here you can check in cart with two okay so you can now go to your card page here now i can refresh this one and you can check here see two items six six hundred is the unit price into two and subtotal is the subtotal price 1200 so 1200 is here so i'm going to add one more item now as you should with one item only this time it's not there medium now you can check here blue casual t-shirt with one item and its price is 600 as well and 600 is there 600 plus 500 1800 so 1800 is there okay so now it is fine and it is working very much fine now i will add one more casual shirt uh, with this one and i will add the medium okay so medium is having 1100 no issue so we'll add one and here refresh and here you can check now the medium is 1100 1100 600 600 this two so that's why 600 into 2 1200 so 2900 is the total amount if you will calculate 1100 plus 600 1700 1700 plus 1200 2900 okay so now the calculations are also working fine so we will continue working on this one in next video as well so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye